Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back for another fake Grand Order video. Not that long off from the last one, uh, where I was talking about the previous banner. But I'm back here with the original video that was supposed to come up yesterday, but I had to hold it back because they released a banner <laughs> that I wasn't really expecting. It's time to go over what's going to be coming up on this month of Fago. It is close to, I think, uh, yeah, basically a week. So by the time you guys see this, five days away from the start of the new month. So as always, it's time to kind of look at what we can expect for the for the next month and go over them and see, yo, cool stuff on the way. So we'll start with what's currently what we know is going on right now, which is eventually we're going to get this Avalon Le Fay pre-release campaign. This has already been announced. It's going to start June 1st. And then there's going to be a live stream, and that live stream ends on the same time, is on the same day that this event ends. So that's chances are is when we're actually getting Lost Belt 6. Very likely. If it wasn't, that's crazy. But let's look over on the Japanese side and see what they have released for the specific year, which was for them 2021 June. If you don't know, uh, the JP side of the game is two years in advance. That's how we know where a good amount of stuff is coming from. <laughs> There are some surprises, like the, the Super Orion in Ibuki banner. It's not Ibaraki. I don't know. Don't blame me for video bad video titles. I was tired. Anyway, Avalon of Fate, we already know. This is coming June 1st. Funny enough, a single day off of when it was released on the JP version of the game. But then also with that, before that was actually the Fake Grand Carnival first uh, season Blu-ray DVD release commemorative campaign. Uh, I don't I don't know if we got this already or if we um, we already got it. I don't 100% don't remember. But we're obviously probably not going to be doing this because the DVD is out. So either we already have this or we're just they're just going to give it to us at some point. It's not that there's nothing really tied to it. So. Other than the, the free um, commemorative CE for collection purposes, so nothing too major. The main quest clear aid campaign, which is going to be related to Lost Belt 6, should be coming up, and I think this has already been announced. Uh, I'm pretty sure anyway, let me look over here. Uh, Pre-release campaign, I can't remember if this came with this. Okay, no, this hasn't been announced yet, just because this is uh, this was also gets announced with the Haikyo clear. Which is Masters of Kira, the Haikyo event will get 10 sync wards. And then this mission lasts from June 11th to June 30th. And then you can claim it from any time between June 11th to July 7th. And then there's also uh, Stones limited missions related to it as well. As well as like a bunch of sync wards related missions that go with this. A whole buttload of them. To the point where a lot of people were asking, hey... Where are we gonna get the? When are we getting these missions? So I would assume we're either gonna get this announced pretty soon. Um, can't be too far off because yeah, we should be getting this. <laughs> if not, the uh, we're gonna have a little bit of issues. It's a little bit weird. It is a little bit weird, but you know, I expect it to be announced pretty soon. I wouldn't fret too much about it. And then we actually have Avalon Le Fay release, which for them was June 11th, and as well as for us is looking like June 5th. Um. This is the banner that on part one will have Morgan, Caster Koo, and then the two fairy knights, uh, Gawain and Tristan. Um, yeah, a lot of people are probably going to be end up summoning on this banner. Like I said in previous videos, and I've said a whole bunch of times, there is another banner that comes two months, and it's literally after anniversary. So that's chances are if you were a smart careful player you might want to wait until after you actually got the new shiny anniversary buster support unit before going into them uh, but a lot of people aren't like that and i'm also summoning on this because i forgot that this actually had the caster coup featured and caster Goku gets an extremely good strengthening that makes him insanely good and for that reason alone i want to make sure to get him to mb5 so i will be summoning on this banner when it comes out i've already talked to it with my brother saying i want more caster coups and i don't want to summon on story banner so I'm going to be going for them here, and I wouldn't mind getting any of the other three here featured <laughs> before, uh, while I'm getting him to MP5, so. Not guaranteed to get him MP5, but I'm sure as hell going to try. Because like I said, he does end up being extremely good after this, so that's my own personal thing. But there you go, this is going to be the summoning campaign, it should be releasing with Lost Belt 6. And then, uh, the other summoning campaign that releases with Lost Belt 6, like, uh, let me see, this is June 11th. And then this happens June 25th. 
12. So I think this would probably be a little bit faster. This was almost two weeks after? No way, man. That's going to be bumped up to a week, I think. We just don't have time to spare on this banner because the anniversary is coming up so close. Um, Castoria banner. It's Castoria. I don't have to tell you much about her other than it's Castoria. You either have her or you don't. And you either want her or you don't want her. <laughs> it's really that simple. One of the best support units in the entire game. Completely has busted open arts. Is still the best art support even though they've released another art support. Uh, it's just very hard to be better than what Castoria brings to a lot of teams. And yeah, it's insanely good. So... Uh, good luck to your savings. We've now entered the rough area. This month is the rough month for many people. And it's not even anniversary yet. That's still coming up. But don't worry, there's also an interlude campaign. And if you have, uh... <laughs> if you have my dude Maticardo, Anastasia, Salome... Everyone gets Salome. She comes free with your Xbox. And, uh, Yang, you'll be able to get some free quartz. Yay, two! Two from each, so two, four, six, eight. Woo! Eight! But if you don't have any of the other ones, well, you should have Medicardo, so you should be able to have... Well, you have to actually clear Atlantis and do all this other stuff, so maybe you actually don't. <laughs> you have to, have to make sure to have all this first, so never mind. Uh, and there's also a summoning campaign where I think, obviously because we have GSSR now in NA, this banner is going to be different, but chances are banner one will have uh, Anastasia and Mandicardo, and then the other one will have uh, Kineas and it will have uh, Celiari. Uh, Anastasia is always in every banner and the same as Mandicardo, so I would not suggest summoning for him unless you're a big fan of Anastasia and you just love her that much that you're willing to say screw everything to get her. And then you have Kineas and you have uh, Celiari. Two dudes who are story locked, kind of a pain in the ass to get if you're not actively going for them. Kineas is going to be getting a uh, summer. Yeah, he's going to be getting a summer unit this year. So if you badly want him, it's probably going to be best for you just to wait to get that summer version <laughs> and just wait uh, if you're planning the summon for summer anyway. Uh, if you're not planning the summon for summer and you're a big fan of uh, Kineas, then this is your best bet of going for him. And Celiari, I always like Celiari. I'm happy to have him like MP5 and I have two extra copies, but the honest truth is the best way to get dupes to get an MP5 Celiari is to actually spend on the GSSR where he's featured on it because you will get plenty of copies of him. Uh, no issue. That's how I got mine. <laughs> That's why I have, like, so many copies for him. But if you're someone who's trying to get, like, a level 120 Celiari, I think this is probably your best banner chance is this one where he's featured. I don't actually know because getting Celiari, even when he was featured back in the day, was kind of a pain in the ass. It was not guaranteed. Three stars. There's a lot of three stars. I'm trying to get a specific three star, not very easy. But, you know, there's people out there who are crazy who are going to do it, and I salute you. But anyway, that's the interlude campaign. Following that, the last thing that we would expect for this year is Nero Fest. Nero Fest is a rerun of a very old event. Uh, it was called Gil Fest previously, and I don't remember what it was. And then it was Scuth Fest after that. It is a lotto style event. This is the first one of it. This is the very first one, so you'll be able to get some of the old CEs for all related to it again. And as well as the Bloomers outfit for uh, Nero, Saber Nero, in case you just don't have enough of those Saber Nero costumes. There will be a bunch of like different grinding events. It's going to be structured like this. And it's a lotto event. It's a very easy. Literally, lotto events are the easiest kind of uh, events because you grind at how much you want. Do you just want to get every lotto thing possible? Then you grind that much and you get it. And then you're done and you're out of here and you don't have to worry about anything. But uh, this is the banner that's going to be related to it. Uh, Brunhilda. Uh, Nero Summer. Estrella. Uh, Caesar. Romulus and Bodica. So chances are two banners, one they'll be separated from each other. Uh, and this is, uh, yeah, if you're a big fan of Brunhilde, this is your chance to get Brunhilde. And if you're a big fan of, uh, Summer Nero, this is your chance to get Summer Nero. But for most people, I think this is likely just going to be a skip. Um, and a lot of the old CE art is also here, but, you know, they're old CEs. They're nothing too outstanding, other than having some great art. For for men, for women, and for everyone. The three pillars. 
And yeah, this is a very gonna be very easy event. This is gonna I'm gonna I'm looking forward to having my revenge on a lot of these fights. <laughs> Because I'm going to blast through the 2016 ex exhibitions. It's not going to be it. I wonder how many of these can I just beat with quits. I think a decent amount of them. But we'll see. I'll see when I'm actually doing it. But yep, that's Nero Fest. And that is going to be the last event that is expected for this month. Uh, July is when we're going to be having our anniversary. So I'd probably actually expect this com commemorative campaign to start just a little bit before near the end of June. Um... I would also expect the Lost Belt released here to actually release sometime in June, maybe end of June, maybe after Nerofest. I'm not 100% sure, but this banner has to come out because this 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 unit is on the GSSR. The Fairy Knight uh, Lancelot is on the GSSR, so it has to be released. And there's also Percival on here. Um, if you've been crazy saving and you're going to be doing the GSSR, it's probably best to just kind of wait and hold on and see what happens, but... Especially because her banner should go into Anniversary. Actually, no, it doesn't, actually. Two weeks, July 28th. And then... Actually, no, it should. By NA standard, it should, but I actually don't know. It all depends on when they actually decide to release this. It's very screwy. I don't know the exact time frame when they were going to do it, but they are going to do it at some point. Um, I should actually look at the Taiwanese version of the game because that would probably give me a better idea of how they plan to do it over there. Because they had to follow a very similar structure to ours to get their stuff out in time. But I digress. Yep, this banner. Uh, uh, shout outs to that one dude who's been crazy waiting for Percival. I have not forgotten about you. Every single time I've made a video talking about saving, I think about you. So hopefully you finally get your mans on this banner. And yeah, that's going to be the, the month of June... It is going to, it is the time. There's not much time left. So anniversary, till a lot of savings are going to be lost to some people on, um, for Morgan. I fully expect it. I'm looking forward to it, man. It's been a while since we've had, no, the last unit was maybe Castor. No, actually we've been having a decent run of, Muramasa was actually probably the last big huge one, but Castoria was as well. But Muramasa was on New Year's. It's always kind of fun um, whenever it is a highly anticipated unit because you get to see a lot of people's savings and kind of see it finally happen. I'm actually kind of glad that the GSSR is already in for a lot of us this year just because, uh, yeah, I sh I, uh, maybe I should do a video on it. I've always like debated on it looking back on some of the old summon threads on like specifically the Fugo Reddit and taking a look at how much people spent before GSSR. And because, specifically because of the notion of NA, NA is a very much a side that saves a whole bunch because we know what stuff is coming in two years. So you get a lot of stories of people who have been waiting years and just completely losing so many quarts trying to get a single copy of a five star and just not have like 2,000 quarts deep and not getting a single SSR. It was horror stories. And you don't hear those horror stories very much anymore because it's like, oh yeah, I went 900 you know, I hit pity, that's it, and then you're done. And it sucks, and you move on. Now you only get those stories if you're someone who's specifically going for, like, multiple NP copies. <laughs> and in which case, it's like, well, it does suck you're going for a lot, but to be fair, you kind of should have maybe quit when you were hitting 900. I'm someone who, if I hit 900 pity, I'm done. I'm not summoning anymore. We're, we're, we're over. It's all It's all over from this point on. But, you know... Different strokes, different folks. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun time. Thank you very much for watching. Tell me what you're looking forward to for this month. I'm going to assume most people is like Lost Belt 6, but hey, there might be one dude out there who's just like, yo, Nero Fest came back. <laughs> Woo, can't wait. For I've been waiting for the Saber Stelvo interlude campaign <laughs> for two years. <laughs> you never know. They're, they might exist. They need it, exactly. Someone out there have said, this is my moment. This is my day. I've been waiting for this upgrade ever since it happened. Two years waiting time, baby. Let's go. And for them, I salute them. But yeah, as always, you can tell me what you're looking forward to the most. You can leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe to me. It helps out the channel a whole bunch, and it allows me to uh, continue making videos where I don't play Fago because I know the Fago videos will always have my back. <laughs> 
And that's the end, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Peace.